Hi, it's Megan. So I ordered a couple of items from the MAC Pedro Lorenzo. I think it's Lorenzo. It could be Lorenco, but I think it's Lorenzo collection when it first popped up online. And I only ordered it because I've recently gotten obsessed with red lipsticks and this had some reds. And then I also thought the lip glasses looked really cool. And I like MAC lip glasses. I know not everybody does, but I like them when they've got either the nude kind of coloring to them or they've got a lot of sparkles. So the lip glasses had the sparkles. So this is what, this video is for the lip glasses, the gold mirror and the mirror. And then I also am doing a video for two of the lipsticks, Ruby and Roxo. Um, and I ordered another couple items from the collection. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. I actually almost sent these back because I got obsessed with the Maleficent Red. And then I just decided I may as well put this up. So it's kind of late, but at least you can see what I got. So the lip glasses come in mirror and gold mirror. They're $16.50 for 0.17 fluid ounces. And yes, mine are mislabeled too. I guess that's been a big issue for a lot of people, but... I got both, so I got both colors, so it's not that big a deal to me if companies make mistakes. So this is it. And I didn't order the whole collection, like I said, so I just tried to, with my makeup, kind of mirror the collection. A lot of people said the eyeshadows were like the um, Urban Decay Naked 3, so that's what I've got on my eyes. And then I did just a Giorgio Armani blush that's got pink with a little bit of gold sparkle in it. Just a very neutral look with the reds. And then I have somewhat pigmented lips, so I'm going to take these on and off on camera and then I'm also going to put them on over a lipstick and just see how that goes. So this is Mirror which is labeled Gold Mirror and it's described as a neutral silver. It looks like this. It's very shimmery and I have outdoor swatches and outdoors it's such a cool color. Inside it looks kind of whitish silver metallic. Outdoors though it has so many different colors in it. It's really amazing. It's surprisingly warm toned and it's almost pewterish and then it's kind of like gray silver but it has all this amazing like rainbow colored pinks and blues and greens it's super 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 sparkly and it's so super sparkly it takes away a lot of my natural color on my lips and it uh, almost looks like semi opaque it's so sparkly and packed with shimmer and it, it's kind of Metallic. I'm usually not a huge metallic girl fan, but I think this is a cool finish. I like it. It lasts about two hours on me, and it fades pretty evenly. I didn't end up with like little dots of glitter on my my um, lips, so it was kind of fun to play around with. And I, it smells like vanilla, like all Mac lip glasses. And on me, they don't hydrate and they don't dry, so that's pretty much that one. The next one is Gold Mirror. And of course, mine's labeled mirror, which I, whatever. You know, the last time I never made a mistake, right? That's what it looks like. And again, you can see, you almost can't see whether it's gold or silver or whatnot, because it's so, so shimmery. So let me take this off. They apply really evenly, like, it was something this uh, opaque. Some of a hard time applying. On me, they apply very evenly. They do take a lot of the color out of my lips. And this is described as a neutral gold. And I think it's like a medium gold, slightly brown undertone to it. Um, they both have kind of a slightly dark undertone to them. And again, it has all these amazing sparkles. So when you see the outdoor swatch, I will have already put that in the beginning of the video. It's kind of more gold peach. Um, but uh, really, really unusual, really pretty. So these are them. This is it. I'm going to do a real quick switch up with some lipstick. So you can see it over lipstick. In fact, how do we do that? I'm going to do it over Roxo. Since that seemed to be the one that sold the fastest. And again, it's the vanilla scented. Lasts about two hours. Even These are pretty similar in my mind in formula. So this also lasts about two hours and wears pretty evenly. Very pretty. Slightly metallic looking on more opaque than I would have expected and super 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 shimmery so this is Roxo which will be in a separate video but that's it
Kind of reminds me a little bit of Gash. Maybe a little bit less shiny. So let's see how this works. I've never done this on camera, but what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the silver on top. And not blend. It's making my wand all gold or all icky. So that's it. It lightens it up. We'll do the gold. Again, it just gives it a really amazing effect. This lightens it, this lightens it, but also warms it up a little bit. And it does get all over the wand. That's fine. That happens. So that's it. I overall think they're really fun. Um, I don't have anything like them, personally. I have a gold. An old, old, old gold. I think it's Lorac. No, it's not Lorac. It's a French company. I forget who makes it. I've got this really beautiful gold lip gloss, which I love. And these are just be a little bit more metallic than I would ideally love but I just think they're so fun and I love what they do to lipsticks actually more than wearing them on their own. Worn on their own I like them with like a smoky eye to give you a futuristic kind of a look. So it's <laughs>